Hey guys, welcome to another Cook With Me session on Absolutely Annie with your girl Anne. So guys, today I'll be making some Nigerian chicken stew and I'll be using all these ingredients you can see. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using Pivora chicken, which I find personally it tastes a lot better because it contains its own natural flavour. So as you can see here, I'm just washing the chicken to get it prepared. Um, I'm using lemons so that I can thoroughly wash the chicken and take out that raw smell. chicken in the pot and now I'm adding about 750 mils of water. Now the amount of water you add to the chicken all depends on the quantity of chicken you are cooking so you sort of have to eyeball the chicken and sort of determine the amount of water you need um, but just making sure that the amount of water you add to the chicken isn't above the level of the chicken. Add some salt, seasoning cubes and some onions and cook on a low heat until the chicken is done. So guys, whilst the chicken is cooking, I'll just be blending my tin, tomatoes, peppers and onions and getting them prepared. So guys, in a separate pot, I'll be cooking the blended tomato, peppers and onions and I'll be cooking this until the water in the tomato has completely extracted. So guys, there's another method to cooking Nigerian stew where you would um, heat up the oil and then you would pour in the tomato mix and sort of cook this until the tomato starts to fry in the oil and how you know the stew is ready is when the oil has completely risen above the tomato mix.
So guys, once the water from the tomato blend has completely extracted, it's going to form into a paste as you can see here. And this paste is what we're going to be pouring into the heated oil to prepare the stew. Once you bring your stew to a boil, add some seasoning cubes and salt for taste. And as you can see guys, I also decided to boil some eggs. My daughter, she was like, oh mom, let's boil some eggs. We haven't had boiled eggs with rice for a long time. So yeah, I just decided to add that along. So the stew is almost completely cooked and how you can tell is when the oil starts to settle above the tomato blend. Um, as you can see that's what's happening here. And so right now I'm just adding in the grilled chicken so I can cook everything all together and the stew will be ready soon. So after cooking for about another 8 minutes on low heat, the stew is now ready and as you can see the oil has settled beautifully on top of the um, tomato blend and the juices from the chicken have all come together. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!